Hello students, Miss Roll here with your simple machine notes. We have divided this section of notes into two videos uh, to hopefully make things a little bit easier. So this is your first simple machines notes video. Our learning targets for this video is I can identify the six types of simple machines and I can describe how simple machines make work easier. Remember we learned about work uh, previously so that we are going to talk about how that applies to these simple machines. So first of all, let's think of the history of work when we talk about it in terms of uh, the real world, right, where you're doing work. Uh, think about the ways that the ancient engineers were able to build items. They had to create things and build things before machines. Uh, we had to lift heavy, heavy loads by hand. Uh, oftentimes they used animals. Um, they could help to some extent, uh, but still they needed some clever ways to make work easier, uh, to build things, to move things a great distance, right? They needed different ways to make this easier. And that's where simple machines came in. So you can think back to what you learned in your ancient engineering project uh, and see what kind of simple machines you actually have already uh, done some learning about. So first of all, what is a simple machine? So people invented simple machines that would help them overcome resistive forces and allow them to do the desired work against those forces. Basically, they figured out what things prevented them from accomplishing their task and made machines to help them. A machine is a tool that helps make work easier to perform by either changing the direction of a force or by increasing the magnitude of a force. So changing the direction or the magnitude or increasing the distance of a force. So changing direction, changing amount or magnitude, uh, or changing the distance of a force. And by doing this, it made it easier on the people involved. Or increasing the speed of a force. Again, these all made it easier on the people involved. So what is mechanical advantage? This is a phrase you'll hear uh, us talk about as we go through the different machines. So what this means is you can use a small applied force on the machine and it will apply a larger force to the object, meaning you're not doing as much work, right? If you are applying less force on that machine, uh, you are doing less work and it makes it easier for larger things to move because it's applying a larger force to that object. And this is how simple machines make it easier to do work. Again, you apply a small force, it applies a large force. So our six types of simple machines. The six machines are a lever, a wheel and axle, pulley, a ramp or inclined plane, a wedge, and a screw. Those are our six types of simple machines. All right, so let's start off with a lever. What is a lever? So a lever is a rigid bar that rotates or moves around a fixed point called a fulcrum. So if you've ever used a wheelbarrow in our example on the right, you can move it up and down or side to side around this fulcrum or this po point that the lever can rotate around. The bar can be either straight or curved for a lever. But again, it's just something rotating around this fulcrum. All right, so here is an example of a lever. If you look down, it's 
the center of that sisa, right? It's a fulcrum, a point around which a rigid uh, beam da, rotates. So how does this work? The bar rests on a support, that's the fulcrum. Then a force is applied to the lever. So here you can think about one person going down on our seesaw. And that applies a force to the object, and that will be pushing the other person up on the seesaw. And that lifts and moves the object. So here are some examples, again, of that seesaw in action. Uh, here's our fulcrum in the center around which our lever is rotating. Right, and you notice as, say, the blue guy applies a force down, moves the green guy up, and vice versa, as the green guy applies a force down, it moves the blue bar up. Um, levers don't have to have two equal sides. Over here, if you've ever watched The Emperor's New Groove, you see Kronk pulling a lever. The fulcrum is kind of right in the middle, and the bar is off to the side. It's a bit of a sillier example, but it's still showing you a different way a lever can look. So what is a pulley? A pulley is a rope and a wheel that changes the direction and magnitude or amount of a force. How does a pulley work? A rope is attached to the object and secured around a wheel. So notice here we've got a rope going around a wheel right, attached to this object. As the rope is pulled with an applied force, it turns the wheel around a fixed point, see here in the center, which changes the direction of a force or allows you to apply a smaller force. And each wheel that you add in these systems means that you are applying less force. You have to pull it a much bigger distance, the string, but it makes it a lot easier and makes you do less work. The object attached to the rope can be raised or lowered. Raised or lowered. Here are a couple of examples. You see a crane um, or in a uh, mechanic shop, we've got a system of pulleys. They pull the rope a lot farther, but it makes it easier to move these large objects. And here is an example of adding some levers together on the left to make it even easier. The rope is going a lot further to move um, the kind of green shape, but it is allowing you to apply less force, meaning you're doing less work. What is a ramp or an inclined plane? An inclined plane makes it easier to move an object from a lower level to a higher level. An inclined plane is shaped like a triangle how does it work? A ramp increases distance and lowers the force needed to do the same amount of work. So you're moving further. You're not just going directly up, but you have to go over a distance. But that way you're applying less force. One way to think about it is to compare um, how it feels going upstairs versus walking up a ramp, right? It feels a lot easier. That's because you are applying less force in any given moment. Again, here are some examples. An inclined plane um, or a ramp, right? That's oftentimes our everyday world uh, word that we use is a ramp. But you're going a greater distance, which is why, for example, in this one with our wheelchair, the ramp can't just start at the bottom of the stairs and go straight up. That would be applying too much force. It goes a longer distance so that you can get up more easily. Same thing.
same thing here. Longer distance, applying less force. And that is it for this first video. Uh, go back, pause, and make sure that you understand and get your notes, and then you can move on to our practice. Have an awesome day.